Hello, my name is Barry Marquardt. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I've been integrating technology into my recent curriculum here at Lindbergh High School. First, I want to start by opening up my website. Once at my website, I instructed my ninth grade biology class to go to the general biology link. And here, um, I ask them to go to uh, reviews, notes, and assignments. Once here, at the very bottom, you can see the last assignment we did. It's called Guess the Embryo. Uh, from here, the students had all the directions they needed to successfully do the activity. The activity that we were working on is called Guess the Embryo, and this fits into uh, my discussion about cell division, both through mitosis and meiosis. Meiosis is the creation, creation of our sex cells, otherwise known as gametes. Once an egg is fertilized, cells divide for the rest of our lives through mitosis. So I had the students go to this PBS website. And it was kind of a fun uh, interactive tool to where they have to guess the embryo of different organisms. So once they launch their interactive simulation, uh, we see this up here. Now, before they got any farther, I also had the class log into Socrative. Socrative is a learner response app that essentially works like a clicker. So what I first had to do was go to Socrative.com and I recently had set up an account so uh, I had to log on as it, to the teacher log on which is basically your uh, email address and whatever password you have set up previously. Once I go there, I find the quiz that I have previously set up. Socrative is very user-friendly. Creating quizzes uh, really takes very little time. So once I go to Start Quiz, I select a quiz. You can see I have several quizzes that I have made up. This is the Guess the Embryo questions. And there are two options. There's the student-paced quiz and there's the teacher-paced quiz. What I decided to do was the student-paced quiz. This is paced quiz. This allows the students to go through the questions at their own pace without being held up by me. The teacher-paced quiz is one question at a time. You release the questions uh, whenever you wish. All right. The students, on the other hand, log on to M socrative.com and they get to a point right here now they need to know my room number in order to take the quiz so as I go back my room number is 26 21 31 so each student puts 26 21 31 let me double check to make sure that's correct yep so once the students join, they start by putting their name, and this is how I hold them accountable. There are situations where two people may be using a computer, so they may both put their names here. Um, so they put their name in, and then the first question pops up. First question, any animal, whether an alligator, skunk, or human, starts out as a single and they would need to read through the Guess the Embryo introductory page here to get that question. So they are going back and forth between the two. The answer there is a fertilized egg. Um, we go to the next question. And they will, like I said, be going back and forth. So once they get here, this is kind of fun, that uh, you look at an embryo and you try to decide uh, which animal it is. It's very difficult because uh, Embryos, for most living organisms, animals to be particular, look very, very similar. 
Um, so as they go through, they finally realize that this is actually a mouse. All right. And once they get here, um, I ask them to watch the mouse develop. And so you can see the mouse starting uh, at eight days on slide one, kind of going through development, uh, 10 days, 11 days, 12 days, uh, 13 days, 14 days, 16 days, and finally 17 days. Pretty cool stuff. So then they can go back and answer their questions. Uh, we know that this is a mouse. Excellent job. And just to keep them honest, I ask some questions like, uh, how old is the mouse embryo on slide 12? Just to make sure that they're going through the slides and actually doing what I had intended them to do. So I believe this was, if we go back, 17, 17 days old on slide 12. Okay. So again, they will be the students went back and forth, and really, what was neat about this activity is n no piece of paper was ever needed. Another great thing about Socrative uh, is that it grades for you. So you can once you set up your quiz, you have the answers. It pretty much grades for you, other than the short answers. Um, at the end of the quizzes, they are sent to you as an email, and it's easy to go in and hold the kids accountable for what. Uh, you have asked them to do. So as they work through, uh, let's see, embryo 2. These are kind of fun. Uh, embryo in question, what do you guys think this one is? Is there any real way to tell? No, there's not. And uh, I tie this in with our discussion on evolution as well. Uh, explaining to kids or showing the kids that we are very much in our early developments, all animals, very, very similar. And this is one big piece of evidence that's used to support evolution and, and the, the idea that we come from uh, common ancestors. So I've done this several times. I know that this one's a quail. Um, my favorite, my favorite is. Uh, actually, these last two. This one they actually can get. You can see a shell right here, here. So some of the kids get this one on the first try. But my favorite one is the bat. Uh, I'm sure that when you look at this, you think bat, correct? And uh, watching the bat develop is kind of creepy. You see it over time. This one uh, at 70 days, 80 days, pretty neat stuff. You can switch to a front view, and uh, this kind of grosses some of the kids out. I think it's pretty cool, though. All right. Well, this is what I've been doing lately with technology in my classroom. Hopefully you enjoyed my explanation of using my website, uh, Socrative and uh, the NOVA Guess the Embryology website. Have a great day.